What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, we're gonna be talking about the top 25 best free jailbreak tweaks that are working with iOS 11.3.1 .1 jailbreak right now. So I'll have a couple of links down in the description below. So if you need to jailbreak your device, if you haven't done that yet, I'll put a link on how to do that. If after this video, there's some more tweaks that you wanna download, I'll have another link to another video with a list of compatible tweaks for iOS 11.3.1. And also I'm doing a giveaway with AirPods, so if you guys wanna enter into that giveaway, be sure to check the link in the description. But let's go ahead and get into these tweaks. I know everybody's really eager to start downloading stuff, but they wanna make sure that things work. And I've tested all of these tweaks on this device right here, and the best part of all of them is that they're free. So let's go ahead and kick it off. So the first tweak that I wanna start with is called Swipe for More. I highly recommend you guys downloading this before you even download any other tweet just because it makes installing, uninstalling, reinstalling, queuing up tweaks, everything so much easier in Cydia. So basically if we swipe over here, open up Cydia, and let's just go to our installed tweaks. This is gonna work the exact same if you search for a tweak as well, but you can basically just swipe over and then you're gonna have all these options. So you could queue up a tweak if you wanted to install several different tweaks, which is what I use Swipe For More mostly. So you can just queue those up and it's saving you a whole bunch of taps. So rather than doing this, let's actually search for something. Let's search for barrel, if I could spell barrel. All right, so at this point, you can just swipe over and you can see this is a paid tweak, so you get a little credit card right there. So you will have to actually pay in order to install that. But down here, we have barrel roll and we have a download button and we also have a queue button. So if we wanted to tap on queue, then that's gonna queue it up just like that with one tap, which makes things really easy. If you wanna take it out of your queue, you just tap the X. So if you didn't have this tweak, you would have to tap on it, you would have to tap install, you would have to tap continue queuing, and then you'd have to tap back to get to this point. So it saves a whole lot of taps, and again, just makes installing tweaks a whole lot easier. So let's go ahead and close out of that, and you'll also notice that we don't have any type of page dots down here that you would normally have on your device. So you can see page dots right there on this device, right down there at the bottom, and you're not gonna have that here due to a tweak called no page dot. So just goes for a little bit more minimalistic look. Next up we have Cylinder. Cylinder is an awesome tweak. It's a page transition tweak. So if you know about Barrel, it's basically like that, except it has more transitions and it's free. So it's really hard to deny a free tweak that's as cool as this. And you can see there's a ton of different transitions that you can choose from. If we go ahead and go to the settings here and we tap on effects, Look at all these transitions that you have. So right now I just have some selected. We'll just select a few more. And then go back out here. And then you can have randomized toggled. That means it's gonna change every time that you swipe over a page. So really cool tweak, highly recommend it. Definitely check it out if you like the page transitions on your device. All right, so now let's go to our lock screen, to our passcode screen. So we'll swipe up here, and you can see that we have a tweak installed called Roman Passcode. And obviously what it does here is just add Roman numerals instead of the regular numbers to your passcode and just gives a new unique look. So we'll just tap on our passcode here, unlock it, and that's really all that it does. All right, so next we have IG Dark Mode. So if we go ahead and open up the settings here, this is the IG Dark Mode settings panel, and there's not a whole lot to do here other than enabling it. So make sure that it is enabled, and then you can swipe over here, open up Instagram, and you can see you're going to get a dark mode in Instagram with IG Dark Mode. And it just looks a whole lot better in my opinion. So if you're a fan of the dark look like I am, then definitely check it out. Next, let's talk about Flame. Flame is another really helpful tweak because it tweaks Cydia and it makes it more useful. So if you go in here into settings, you can see there's several different options for you to choose from. So right up here at the top, you can actually change your default page when you open up Cydia. So if you wanna change that, you can do that right there. Going down here, you have some toggles where you can see pull to refresh. So you can pull down in Cydia to refresh. You also have disable auto refresh. You have a timeout and then you can type in the seconds for the timeout of sources to refresh. So you know sometimes when you're trying to uh, refresh all your sources and it's taking like 20 seconds and you're just like, I don't even care anymore. I don't want this last source to refresh because it's taking forever to respond. You can actually put a wall time on that or a timeout uh, right here. So you just type in how long you wanna wait for each source to refresh. So if you want it to be for like five seconds, then you can just leave it like that. So right down here, you can do a hold to share. You can do batch add for sources, which is really nice. So you can just copy a whole bunch of sources 
And then once you open up Cydia and then go to add sources, it'll actually paste all those sources into Cydia all at the same time. And then you can add all those sources at once rather than having to add one source at a time. And if you're looking for a whole bunch of sources to add for tweaks, uh, I have a video on that in the description. Now you've probably noticed my dock down here. This is actually due to a tweet called floaty dock. So what this does is give you a floating dock in the bottom right here. And it's also going to show you your most recent applications. So you'll see a little line right there in the dock. And then on the right side of that are your recent applications that you've been in. So if we go ahead and go into floaty dock preferences here, you can see you have an enable button. You can also change how many icons you have in the dock. Then you also have recent apps, which I was telling you about. You can toggle that on or off right there. And then you also have slide over and split view down here. Now this is actually all dependent upon uh, dock and apps being enabled. And dock and apps is actually kind of hard to invoke on the iPhone 10. So let me see if I can do it. You have to be pretty gentle with it, but you're basically just swiping up from the left side. So there it is right there. But I tell you what, it's kind of hard to, <laughs> to actually get to invoke. So um, that's not something that I probably use very often just because it's a little too hard to actually pull up. Um, but I do like the look of the dock down here. I would just want one less icon down the bottom because seven just seems a little bit too many. Now, something else I recommend everybody have is Filza or Filza, however you want to pronounce it. Basically, it's just a file manager on your device that allows you to basically go through all these folders and make any changes that you need to at a more granular level than you know you're normally able to. So it's really helpful. Now, right next to that is your cert time. This is another tweak, and it's called cert remain time. So it's just an application that you open up. There's no settings to you know, set up or anything. And all it's gonna do is let you know how long your certificate is good for and when it's going to actually expire, when it was created, and how long or the duration of the certificate. So at the end of that certificate, you will need to re-jailbreak your device. Next up, we have a tweak called Tweak Compatible. This is actually a really helpful tweak in Cydia as well. So if you open up Cydia here and you tap on any tweak, you just tap on this one. Down at the bottom, you're actually gonna have a banner here that says if the tweak is working on the iOS that you're on or not. And this is actually better than some of the developer notes just because some developers have abandoned tweaks and they still work on specific iOS versions. They just haven't updated the description. So this is a community driven list that actual users and developers are testing. And then this tweak actually links to that list. So hopefully that makes sense. But you can see that Barrel is not working. This has been tested. If you swipe over, you can see it's not working on 11.1.2 either or 11.1. .1. And it also gives you the ability uh, to say that the tweak actually works or it's broken. But if you want to be a part of that and just help this tweak uh, be more accurate, then you can do that. Next, let's talk about Googes. Googes takes away your icon label and replaces it with a badge notification. So you can see like on messages, I have two uh, badge notifications down here and it's replaced the icon same thing for settings and reminders I believe is what that is but if we open up settings and we go into Googes here you can make a few changes so if you want to hide all the labels then you can do so just by tapping on that and that's gonna hide everything and just respring your device so you can also do just show numbers capitalize first letter then you can change the color of the labels right there a few more options down here where you can enable glowing icons, same thing for shaking icons. So I went ahead and hid all labels. So let's go ahead and respring the device and we should not see any more labels here. So they're all gone now. And that's more of the look that I like. Next is Safari full URL. So what this does is normally in Safari, you would just see like google.com right up here in the top. Uh, in the URL bar. But with Safari full URL, you can actually see the entire URL up here just in case that's helpful to you. So it's just more like a browser uh, on your computer. And for me, I like seeing the entire URL. Now, of course, we gotta talk about Anemone because that's what's going to allow you to theme your device. And a lot of people are, are having issues with Anemone. And all that I did to make Anemone work was search for Anemone inside of Cydia. And then once I found it, I just tapped on it, tapped on modify, and then I tapped on upgrade. Once I upgraded it, it, it just started working. Everything started working. So, so that's the theming tweak, but if you wanna download this actual theme, you guys probably know it. This is one that I download first every single time I jailbreak, and it's called Muse 3. 
Next, let's go into the settings and take a look at dark messages. Dark messages is gonna do exactly what the name tells you it's gonna do. It's gonna give your messages a dark look. So you have dark mode enabled right here. You also have uh, control your night shift if you wanna toggle that on. You have outgoing iMessage, outgoing SMS messages if you wanna change the color of those. You also have incoming right here. So let's go ahead and take a look to see what our messages look like. So if we open this up, you can see that we have a nice look on the keyboard. We also have uh, both of our bubbles here. So we have the blue test iMessage and this is the uh, incoming one. So it's a dark gray and just the black background. Everything just looks really good. And until iOS actually comes out with a dark mode, we're still gonna have to theme them ourselves with tweaks like this. And I think it even looks better without the predictive text. It just looks a little bit less cluttered. So that's dark messages. Next, it's always good to have a tweak that allows you to respring in a really easy way. So this is a tweak called pull to respring, and you can do this right here within your settings. So all you have to do is make sure that you're at the top of your uh, settings application, and then you can just pull down in order to respring just like that. So you'll just get a little haptic feedback as you pull down and it's gonna respring your device. So that makes things a whole lot easier. So the next tweak I wanna talk about here is the simple passcode buttons that I have installed right here. So if you're not a fan of the Roman numeral passcode, then you can do something like this that gets you a more minimalistic look. Now, if you want a little bit of a different look here, uh, rather than just having nothing on the buttons, which is the look that I like, you can actually just uh, go back in here into your simple passcode buttons. You tap on this and you can just tap on hide lettering. And this is one of those tweaks that actually doesn't have a respring button. So it's gonna make having that pull to respring tweak installed really helpful. So now if we go ahead and go back to the passcode lock screen, you can see all the letters are taken away and we just have the numbers. So I like the look of no numbers and no lettering, but if you just like the numbers there, then that's the way to do it. Now, another really good tweak for your iPhone 10 is called No More Small Apps. So as I was going through Cydia, you probably noticed that Cydia was actually pretty small on the iPhone 10. But if I open up Cydia now, you can see this completely full screen. It looks a thousand times better and gives you a whole lot more space to work with. And that's due to No More Small Apps, which basically just makes all applications full screen on the iPhone 10. Next, let's talk about lead to home. This is a really nice tweak because I always lose my apps when you know you have several different pages of apps and you don't necessarily know where one is, you end up using Spotlight. So we don't even really need to type anything in. Let's just say that we wanted to know where Instagram was. So what we would do is just long press on it and then it shows us the page it is and then it amplifies or animates the application and then slams it down. So you can see this can be really helpful for applications that you don't know that are in folders, which you can see right here. So the next week I wanna talk about since we're in this folder is iCleaner Pro. This is a really nice tweak. It's something that's going to allow you to clean up a lot of your storage. So if you're running low on storage, you can run iCleaner Pro and this is gonna clean out everything that you don't really need. Um, so you just tap on the clean button and you can see that it's gonna clean this up. Now I don't have very much of anything on this phone, so it's probably not gonna clean up too much here, but we can go ahead and see what exactly it shows. All right, so you can see that I actually freed up 280 megs, which is pretty good seeing that, again, I don't have much on this device at all. So you can expect to clean up quite a bit of space, several gigs if you have a 256 gig device. So I definitely recommend checking that out. Now another one I wanna talk about is Nude Keys, and you saw that when I pulled down the the spotlight here, this is a tweak called Nude Keys. It just gets rid of all the actual key graphics around the keyboard and makes everything look flat and sexy. And this is a tweak, if you guys know me, I always have installed on my jailbroken device. Now another nice tweak to have is called Sugar Cane. So if we go ahead and pull down our control center, you'll notice on the brightness as well as the volume, we have percentages right here, and that's due to sugar cane. So if we wanted to move up the volume or move it down, you can see that dynamically changing right there. And that's all that sugar cane is gonna do, but I think it's pretty nice. Next, let's talk about Rocket for Instagram. So if we swipe over here and we go into Instagram, the first thing you'll notice is, you know, we've already talked about uh, IG dark mode, but we have a lot of other features with Rocket for Instagram. So you can see here's like a repost, here's a download of the folder 
or the photo and you can actually choose the dimensions here if you want to do that if we tap on this and then you can add the photo to your story or you can add it directly to your feed we're not going to do that since i don't want to post you know boosted board on my feed right now and that's just two of the features for rocket for instagram there's a ton of different features that you have so if you just tap and hold on a photo like this you can pinch to zoom on the photo which is really nice. Uh, the easiest way to show you all these is just go over here to the actual install page and show you exactly what you can do here. So you can see if other users follow you. That's actually something that's in Instagram at this point. But you can long press on the full profile image to zoom in. You can show the exact value of the numerical stats. You can mute and unmute video stories, upload from your camera roll, uh, manually mark stories as seen disable auto switch between stories. There's just a ton of different stuff you can do with this and it's all for free. It does have an ad on there, so that's kind of a downside, but if you're not too terribly annoyed with that ad at the bottom of the Instagram, then this is a really cool tweak. So now let's hop into the control center here and we're gonna talk about Real CC. So what Real CC allows you to do is completely disable Wi-Fi or Bluetooth right here in your control center. So if you tap on this, you can see it's completely gone. So if we go into our settings, you can see that Wi-Fi is completely disabled. Of course, that's not what you get on a regular iOS. So if we just tap on Wi-Fi right there and then we go into our settings. You can see Wi-Fi is still enabled. It's just not connected to the Wi-Fi network that I was connected to. So if for any reason you need to completely disable Wi-Fi or completely disable uh, Bluetooth or anything like that, you can do that here with Real CC. Now we also have nine folders. So nine folders is giving you iOS nine type folders. So it's gonna give you that different look. So you can tell the difference here just by looking at that folder and then looking at this folder, this one's a lot uh, more of a blur and this one's a little bit more opaque. And you can actually uh, turn on the dark mode as well, which I've already done. So if I go ahead and respring my device real quick and then we can uh, get back into the folder and it's gonna give us a dark looking folder. So if I swipe over here and open it up, then you can have those black folders. And that's due to nine folders. And last but not least, we have status switcher. So what this does is put the status bar in your app switcher, which of course you don't normally have. So if we go ahead and go into our app switcher here, you can see we don't have our status bar there. So that's just a nice little tweak to have if you like to have the status bar in your app switcher. All right, guys, that's all the top free 25 Cydia tweaks plus one anemone theme that I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then let me know in the comments below. Let's see if we can get this up to 3,000 likes for shooting a video at 4.36 in the morning for you guys. I would really appreciate it. Of course, if you guys want to stay up to date with everything jailbreak related or any other tech that I want to cover, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video.